News 8 is your local election headquarters. Next Monday, the GOP candidates on the primary ballot for governor will face off in their first post-convention debate. A second place finisher at the Republican State Party convention last month is mounting an aggressive challenge to convention endorsed Mayor Mark Bowton of Danbury. Former Trumbull first electman Tim Herbst is the youngest candidate in the race and thinks that's an advantage. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis has more on this. Mark. Hi, Ann and Brian. Good evening from, uh, everyone, for everyone from the Hartford Newsroom tonight. Republican Tim Herbst says that he is prepared to be a one-term governor because he's willing to focus on the next generation and not the next election. 37-year-old Tim Herbst came in second at last month's Republican convention with just over 40% of the delegates. He spent eight years as first selectman of the Bridgeport suburb of Trumbull, left office in December, and campaigned for governor at town committee meetings every week. In the week since the convention, he has resumed practicing law at a Bridgeport area firm and planning for the August primary challenge against Mark Bowton. I am not the establishment candidate. Uh, I am the anti-establishment candidate. I am the outsider. Herp says you can't ask state employees to give back in order to address the state pension and benefits funding crisis unless you lead by example. I'm going to refuse a pension from the state of Connecticut. I'm going to insist that all my agency and cabinet uh, members do the same. I think it's time to end pensions for a part-time citizen legislature. Herps also has a stinging barb for Mark Boughton, who has tried and failed in bids for governor before, and Democrat Ned Lamont, who has also run and failed before. I don't think you beat a retread candidate with another retread candidate. Herps also says that Boughton's pledge to eliminate the state income tax is an act of desperation aimed at getting votes and isn't realistic with the huge deficits that are predicted. I'm telling people what they need to hear. He's telling people what they want to hear in the name of winning an election. And I think when you do things like that and you don't tell people how you're going to do it, that's why people have an inherent mistrust and disdain for politicians. Herbst also does not rule out the possibility of electronic highway tolls, but he says before any decisions are made, he wants a complete audit of the State Department of Transportation to see exactly where the Special Transportation Fund actually stands. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8. And News 8 will have live coverage of the GOP gubernatorial primary debate. It is Monday, June the 11th. It begins at 7 on MyTV9. We'll stream it live on our News 8 Facebook page and WTNH.com. There will also be a Democratic primary debate. The date for that has not yet been set.